With Andor wrapped up, Disney and Lucasfilm have their eyes peeled for the next theatrical film for the franchise. The latest film to release from Lucasfilm won't hit theaters until 2025. What project could Kathleen Kennedy be focused on going forward for the films? For good reasons, fans haven't been seeing anything from Lucasfilm since the rise of Skywalker in 2019. Lots of news and rumors surrounding Takiya Wati and Ryan Johnson directing, but nothing official from Disney yet. At this point, Star Wars finds himself at a good spot to reset. Andor provided some good ideas on where the franchise could go next. And with Bob Iger back at Disney, how could he affect the direction for Star Wars moving forward? Iger was in charge during the hirings of Kathleen Kennedy, but also of Kevin Feige over at Marvel. And Kevin Feige is also invested in producing the next big hit for Star Wars. So what's the direction for the franchise moving forward? Hello there, Joel from Real Talk Movies here. I'd like for you to give this video a thumbs up and hit the like button if you can. Help me reach my sub goal by hitting that red subscribe button. Click that bell button to get notified every time I upload a video. Now let's get on to today's topic. One of the biggest names rumored around Star Wars was Taika Waititi. He directed the last two Thor films with Marvel and moved on to a different franchise. His film was rumored to begin production in 2023, but we haven't really heard anything since then. According to a rumor from the Best Bin Bulletin, there are two front runners on what movies could actually be going into production next year for Star Wars. The Bulletin claims that there is evidence based on the people that they spoke with at Pinewood Studios in London. The Bulletin posted this quote on their takeaways from Pinewood Studios. I was talking to some people at Pinewood Studios and there's some evidence that they will be shooting a Star Wars movie. I don't think shooting. Beginning construction on a Star Wars movie around April or May. So if you think about it, this might actually be a good sign for the Taikita Waiiti project. How it sounds like it's going to go is Taikia is going to turn his movie in and around December. And then they'll, as in Lucasfilm, know. And if this happens around April or May, they'll start making sets. That's about what I have heard. That's me. Okay. These are just rumors, so take these with a good grain of salt. Disney has yet to announce anything official for the Star Wars franchise moving forward. There is a caveat, however, that this production might be different from his project. Another rumored Star Wars film planned was one taking place after the events of Rise of Skywalker. The lead producer of that project is officially Damon Lindendorf, and the director is Charmaine Obeyed Chinoy. Lindendorf has some shaky grounds historically in producing, but the director Charmaine did a good job on Miss Marvel, and she has a good track record in filming, you know, grand jewel projects. And the Hollywood Reporter reported months back that the film was intended to be a standalone film. This film will also be kept under good wraps and will be very secretive moving forward. I just hope that both films will try their best to get away from the Skywalker influences. Dave Filoni and many others were able to show fans that you don't really need to rely on the Skywalkers for ratings or for box office aid. Can Star Wars be a big film to theaters without Luke, Skywalker, or Anakin? Tell me in the comments below. There are tons of characters that Lucasfilm can explore within the Star Wars mythos. The good thing about starting after Rise of Skywalker is that you get to start clean. You get a fresh slate. New characters, new planets, and new conflicts are what Star Wars is all about. And who knows, we might get the Jedi Academy or some other group focusing on the light and dark sides of the Force. That would be at the top of my bucket list. Some cameos from older characters would also help tie the story in further. But keep in mind her. Don't do anything too big. But like I said earlier, Andor is finished up. I really liked a lot of stuff from the season one of Andor. Now I'll be doing a proper review over at some point. But tell me in the comments below, where do you think Star Wars should be going in their next movie and franchise? Which direction should they go? Should we keep going past the rise of Skywalker? Or should we take a couple years back and go revisit some eras like the classic Republic era? Or even some other time periods in, in Star Wars that we haven't really gotten to see? Share those thoughts in the comments below. Leave this video a like and subscribe for more videos. Check out some of my other videos or the playlist on your screen right now. This has been Joel from Real Talk Movies. See you soon.